Welcome back, Masketeers. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Christina Kay, and we have a Disney haul today. It's not a really big one, but honestly, what happens is before I film these hauls, I kind of keep them in a pile. It takes up space. I want everything to have a home. Plus, I'm busting to show you guys some of these things, and I want to use some of these things. So I figured, let's get to a mini Disney haul today. Mini, not Minnie Mouse, like mini mini. <laughs> um, but I am so excited to show you guys these items. You might have already seen the first one if you follow me on Instagram, which by the way, I love talking to you guys over there. It always makes my day. So make sure you give me a follow and say hi. Okay. My friend Brittany got this for me. This was a put the tag. LA Comic Con 2021 show exclusive and she got her hands on it. And now I'm just like busting. Oh, <sighs> It is a Loungefly mini backpack. For some reason, I feel like this is a smaller mini backpack, but still, it's a great size and it's Cogsworth. Beauty and the Beast is just one of my all-time favorite movies and this is so cool. The detailing on here, this actually moves. <laughs> the hands actually move. This is not see-through. I know I first thought it was, but no, there's like a brown piece of fabric over it. We have the side compartments. I love all the gold touches very well made and lately Loungefly has kind of been missing the mark for me in quality but this is definitely a quality product i'm a little nervous about how the arms are gonna do but hopefully okay the back is just the plain brown oh no it's not if it's not broke don't fix it oh my gosh i love that i have not opened it up and seen the print on the inside Oh my gosh, I wish Duny and Burke would make this in a pattern of a bag. Do you see that? Okay, we'll take some of the packaging out, which I don't always like to do. I do keep my bags in the packaging when I store them or I pack them. Oh my, yes, 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 yes. <gasps> it's got a zipper compartment on the inside. Are you kidding me right now? I don't know that I have any lounge fly bags that do that. Oh my gosh, that is perfect for some of the smaller items that might get lost, maybe like a chapstick or something or something really important. Okay, I am very impressed by this bag. My upcoming Disney trip, I might do a pack with me video. I'm considering taking this one, if not maybe in May. Oh my God, it's just so amazing. Absolutely love this. I know they also had a wallet, but obviously this stuff was really hard to get your hands on because it's a Comic-Con exclusive. It doesn't matter what the con is, they're impossible to get, or just about anything is hard to get your hands on these days, but I am beyond loving this backpack. Brittany, girl. Thank you so much. The next item I feel like I basically show every year. I get it at a wholesale club near me called BJ's, which I absolutely love BJ's Wholesale Club. And I didn't see the calendars there for some reason, like at the end of last year, the beginning of this year. And I went over the weekend and actually found it for a discount. It was ended up being $4 for this. This is my third time getting this. It's the Thomas Kincaid planner. I do use two planners. I have my reasoning for it, <laughs> but this one I love because, oh, it's so appropriate. Um, it has every week a different Thomas, uh, Thomas Kincaid painting. I, oh God, I just love this so much. Oh, that's very special to me, that painting. I just love flipping through them and seeing, ooh, a little safari. It, you know, Mondays can be rough when you flip the page and you see <laughs> what they have. It's nice. Can we just take a look at Goofy there? How cute is he? So I was able to get this. Every year there's a different one on the front. Last year was Mulan. The year before that was Beauty and the Beast. And now we have Winnie the Pooh and Christopher Robin, which is so cool. I've been on a Tigger kick lately, maybe because it's the year of the tiger, right? That's the, the Lunar New Year. Year of the tiger but i'm so excited to have this and for an amazing price too so bj's is like a sam's or a costco i think those are really the biggest wholesale clubs that we have in the u.s their deals are amazing and lately bj's has had a lot of disney finds i had a pair of pajamas that i got mm, a couple weeks ago i've been loving them and i went back for a second pair and they were all out of my size or they had ones that i wasn't crazy about the print and then i saw these for 6.98 and had to get them sweatpants sweatpants raise your hand if you've been guilty of wearing a lot of sweatpants yeah <laughs> it's the times we're in these though okay first of all they're just like this really sturdy gray pair with pockets y'all pockets but oh my gosh, they're all on each other's shoulders. Look at my guy Goofy. I was just so happy to have him on a pair of sweatpants. 
and Donald, Mickey, and Minnie. They're plain on the other side. They're just the gray, but I just absolutely love them. They're so comfortable. The sizes are a little funky on them. I did get a medium, um, which is my normal size, but just beware, like they may look a little deceiving until you put them on, but I love the colors on it. Just with like a black hoodie is gonna be so cute. Just lounging around on the weekend. Thank you, BJ's. This totally is not Disney, but it came from BJ's. It was in this pile and I just think it's so cute. I got this for my desk at work because I'm a type one diabetic and I wanna make sure I have enough insulin there or if I need a snack or something and I don't, and I know I'm not the only one who feels this way, like sharing the fridges and the refrigerators at work because they smell, people leave stuff in there or they take stuff. So if I have this at my desk, it would be great. It's just this like little mini retro fridge. They had it in black and red, but I liked this teal color. So, so cute. Um, it's gonna be perfect. Uh, a couple of my coworkers have like bigger mini fridges in their office, but this was the perfect size for me, honestly. So I'll have to take a picture when it's all set up. I gotta clean my desk first. And the last few things, one of my best friends, Jackie, who used to work at the Disney store before it closed, that's how we met. Uh, she gave me a bunch of stuff that was gifted to her when she worked there. Now, some of the stuff I'm gonna keep, some of the stuff I might give away, some of the stuff she told me to resell it. So I might do that. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna share with which ones I'm gonna do what for, but there are upcoming giveaways on the way, so make sure you're subscribed if you haven't already so you can partake in those. But these items, some of them you couldn't even buy. The first one you could buy, and I showed one back in like September, October maybe, that she gave me that I'm keeping. Actually, she gave me a couple of these. One I definitely kept and it's in my uh, studio. The other one, what did I do with the other one? God, I don't even know what I did with the other one. This one I'm not gonna keep as beautiful as it is, and I know so many of you are gonna kill me for that, but it's one of these designer doll collections. Oh, I'm showing the wrong side. The Disney fairy tale. It's the one that had like the princess and the villain with. So this is Rapunzel and Mother Gothel. I know when these were being sold in the store, that it was a long line to get them and they were pricey. I do wanna point out, this was a display sample though. So this was the one that they had in the store and then they would like raffle them off or something. I don't know how they would give them away. Maybe you play trivia for it. Why can't I get this off? The Gaston and Belle one, obviously Beauty and the Beast is my favorite movie. I kept that, that was beautiful. This one I do not need. This is the most frustrating part of my week right now. I'm gonna have to insert a video of it here because it's not coming off for some reason. The first time it came off no problem. I don't know what's happening right now. Then she also gave me this book um, from Mark Davis, Walt Disney's Renaissance Man. And some of the pictures are beautiful, but oh my God, America Sings, right? Yeah, okay, that's kind of cool. It's a good coffee table book. There's some like interesting pieces that I'm not like 100% sure what they are. Um, I do have quite a few books like this. Um, oh, that's cool, all pictures of him. Oh, I was there in 2019 and I miss it. But again, it's just not necessarily a book that I'm gonna keep. So I might give this baby away. Again, let me know in the comments below if it's something you're interested in. Then she gave me some Be Our Guest items, which these were given to the cast members. This box is beautiful. I might just keep this box, honestly. Again, it said cast member exclusive on there. I'm not gonna keep what's inside. Now I did get quite a few of these Be Our Guest things from Anthony who worked in the same store. Um, but this one I'm not gonna keep. It's just too big for me. It's this Lumiere watch. Can you see him? It's a beautiful watch. It's just way too big. And lately, honestly, I've just kind of been using my Fitbit anyway, so I'm not just gonna keep it for the sake of keeping it. It is beautiful, it's just not, you know. This one I might keep though. It is a wireless speaker. Again, going with the Be Our Guest theme. I might put this at my desk at work. It might be hard to see. Oh, actually it's not that bad. It's a scene from Be Our Guest and it's a speaker. Like I think that's really cool and original. Um, and it just props up like this. So again, it says cast member exclusive, Be Our Guest logo on the back. This reminds me of Mickey's Fill Her Magic and I love it. So this one I'm gonna keep. I'm pretty sure this I already have. I think this is one of the things Anthony got me. The Be Our Guest cast member exclusive. It's a dish. And I love that it says 2019 because that was like my favorite year. Um, and it's got Lumiere on it. It says not for food use. 
So I don't know that I need more than one of these. Um, but again, let me know in the comments below if you'd be interested in this. I love the detailing on the sides. I didn't show you. Be our guest. Like Mrs. Potts. I don't think the camera's doing it justice. Oh, and last but not least, my friend Alyssa. We had brunch at her house and she gave me some goodies. The first is something that, remember Zoom Zooms? I actually have a huge collection and I use them. I have like a storage thing on my wall in my home studio that I use for soundproofing. So she got me a goofy one that I think she said she found at Dollar Tree or the Dollar Store, Dollar General, one of those kind of stores. It doesn't look like the legit Zoom Zoom material, but honestly it's goofy and it's soundproofing for me. So I love it. And then she made this, which was, was very touching. She's been really into crafting during the pandemic. And um, she knew John Bond, who if you guys watched my bag tag I talked about, he was one of my best friends and a cast member who recently passed. And Alyssa got really close with John too. He went to her wedding and we've all been to Disney together so many times um, and have so many beautiful memories. And she made all of us. So these are my group of girls, my besties and John. This is the last time I think we all saw him too. Um, and he won, he's holding there a service award that he one for being at Walt Disney World, working there for 25 years. And this is like a pose we always do with him uh, every girl's trip we have. So it's so beautiful. And then on the other side, she did a single shot of each of us and she gave these all to us. And this was from the 24 hour event. It was like four o'clock in the morning here, eating Mickey waffles on Main Street. This was, this was a great memory. It's one of my favorite pictures of us. Um, but I'm gonna go hang it on my desk at work. So it was so beautiful and Alyssa watches my channel. So thank you, Liz, for this. This was, was a very touching, very thoughtful gift and I appreciate all the time you put into it and all the beautiful memories that we have with John and you and I, because I've known her since kindergarten. So we've got a lot. Okay, so that's my haul. More hauls are on the way. I have a birthday coming soon. So I know like the gifts are starting to pile up. So many of you have reached out asking if you can send a birthday card or a gift. I don't have a PO box because I feel so guilty when you guys sent me stuff, but I will leave my radio station address if you want to send anything there. Jamie, our receptionist, always gives it right to me. So um, I will get it there. I'm there all the time. <laughs> um, so you can send it there if you'd like um, and just make sure you address it to me. So thank you. You don't have to do that though. Please don't feel like you have to do that. But you watching and being here and subscribing and leaving comments and liking the video is gift enough. So that would be the best birthday gift if you could subscribe. My goal is to hit 1000 subscribers by the end of the year. So please help me make that happen. I've got gifts for you guys to thank you for all that you do for, he really put such a big smile on my face, even if it's just leaving a comment or liking the video. Um, so I have giveaways on the way and you will have to be a subscriber to partake in those. So make sure you hit that subscribe button before you leave. It's absolutely free and we've got more Disney fun on the way. Thanks for joining. I hope wherever you are, you are doing well. And I would love to know which of these goodies was your favorite. Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. And I will talk to you soon. I am Christina Kay. Have a Disney day.